Welcome back, Karibu Sana. If you're just getting to join us, this is Y254 TV and this is Y in the Morning WCW edition where we just get, get to have fun, to talk, to get, you know, we, you know how we do it. We get good vibes, we get great conversations, good music, and we give you the juice. But before we go, we go about talking about the juice, today we to Mauliza Swali, very funny. It's a very, Nimaambia don't attach feelings to these questions. Uh, we are asking, apart from Paya, <laughs> which other animal are you paying rent for? And before we start that discussion, because I'm not alone, we're going to be doing that discussion. Let me just read a few comments that say, <laughs> that are having me laughing here. There's someone saying, good morning, tuned in live from Taveta, Leselia City, apart from Panya, Nalipia Lizard Rent. Where? Okay, good morning, Africa. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mugina Mesma Parker. Someone is saying Parker. Eh, okay. Mosquito and bed bugs. Eh, okay. Mende adi unamnunulia chakula. Hey, that one got me in stitches when I saw it. But that's just part of the many conversations or the many feedbacks that we're getting from you. In case you're just getting to see this, uh, go on your social media handle at uh, on Y254 channel at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Tell us. Nika mnyama kagani yako kenye unalipia rent. And in the same spirit, we are talking about domestic sanity. And I'm not alone to discuss that. I have um, wonderful women uh, we are going to have a great conversation with. And I just want them to introduce yourself. Karibuni Sana, thank you for making time. Thank you. And I want you to introduce yourself. Just tell us something about yourself. So basically, uh, where do I start from? You, you're looking at me in that serious face. No, and, 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 I, and I know, <laughs> look at feel like that serious mm -hmm. face. <laughs> now that you, you've given me that serious look, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's start where. Okay, I'm AIM. My name is AIM, and I'm a journalist. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Okay, my name is Lucy Jerry. I'm a student at the University of Nairobi, a political science student, and I'm 22 years old. Oh, nice. You you both have houses, right? Yes. Eh, yeah. uh, we talk about domestic sanity. Nikamnyama kagani una ni parents apart from Panya. Na mende. Of course, Panya na mende. Nikamnyama kagani una ni parents. Um, occasionally my sister comes to stay with me. Uh -huh. For free. Wow! Did your sister just was your sister just called Kamnyama? Parasite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and obviously the normal mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, sometimes I always feel guilty about killing the mosquitoes, especially that they are female. They are not female mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. Why? Women. Women empowerment. Why? Why? Yeah, so. Why? Because I feel like Hey. Yes. Mosquitoes only. Apo kwa mende siko. Ala kwa mende hauko. Siko. But let me tell you. Okay. Do you, even when you talk about domestic sanity, do you feel like kukona um, um, these, these, what do you call it, stigmatization that comes with having some of these animals in your house? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Personally, some, uh, some of those parasites in the house, they are, usual, they are usually associated with and cleanliness. It's like you are dirty. It's like you cannot be able to maintain your personal hygiene. And some of them are also related to poverty. Things like bed bugs. What on a sema? Oh, if you have bed bugs in your house, it means you are maybe living in some low standards. Uh-huh. Mende, panya. But kukuna outbreak ya bed bugs. There was a time. Yeah, was because a I time. remember we had we had an outbreak of bed bugs everywhere. And we we it was it was that it was bad. Mm -hmm. You know? Aim, what yeah. do you, what what sentiments um, do you share about uh 
the stigmatization around? I will say sometimes it depends because so kama mosquitoes who is avoid. Sometimes it just happens when zipata maybe this in this season zimekuwa nyingi than another season. So it's just automatically. When you go to someone's house, mm -hmm. alafu one mende in a pita, what crosses your mind? If you go to the kitchen, not clean. <laughs> <laughs> Food remnants everywhere. So will you eat in such a house? Yeah, I would, but depends with 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 also um maybe June Zapata kuna nyumba iko na mende, but then the house is tidy. So depending. So we can agree that there there's a time that kuna kuangana outbreak of this of this to, to to parasites and insects. The mendes too. Yeah, there's a time that kuna kuangana okay. The thing with mendes, okay, in my opinion, mm -hmm. I would I would want to probably indulge. Mm -hmm. Uh, ukibeba mende moja kutoka kwa mtu. It's mm. enough to yeah, to multiply. Even when you didn't you didn't have mendes but umekuja tu na kamoja. Mm. Also depending with the environment. Ju unaweza pata wewe ni msafi but then in your neighborhood maybe there is waste dumpage everywhere. So you'll get mendes zingine zitakuja zi zi stay kwako. So but no hatuwezi more. sema at they are like uh, completely unavoidable like you cannot avoid them like it's a must to kwa nyumba yako. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's something you can do away with. Ukiona moja unekadawa, inakufa. So sometimes I think zina accumulate kwa nyumba because of people's ignorance. Mm -hmm. or, uh, or maybe you think it's normal, it's like a normality, like it happens. Mm -hmm. So why not accommodate them? Mbae, mbona nisikuwe na roommates? Eh, 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 njeneo so mbona nisikuwe na roommates and I'm thinking roommates wa mende. What? Hey, ya maini. But, hey, Apana, do you feel like there's a place that is okay now that Njeri uh, uh, brought that Nini brought that um, point up mm -hmm. that there are areas that are prevalent to experience like a certain type of outbreak over other areas like the way uh, probably for lack of a better one let me use Kwaruben I didn't want to say Kibra because I wanted to say Kibra and mm -hmm. I realized that maybe the Kwan Engineer watch or Kibra me, me, personally I have grown up in Mukuru. Kwa Ruben, Kwa Njenga. That's, that's the hood that I grew up in. And you know, there, there are, will, do, will we say that there are, um, there, are, there are outbreaks that were prevalent in Mukuru that were not prevalent in Runda, say Kileleshwa, mm -hmm. say those a, a bit of urban areas and a bit of posh places. Mm -hmm. what, do, what, what do you think about that? Um, I'll only go with the environment. Depending on the environment, uh, some things cannot be avoidable. So things like uh, rats, sometimes, you know, you just can't avoid. Yeah. Where do the rats come from? Come to think of it. From sewages around. Uh -huh. So I'll say sometimes the environment <coughs> highly affects. Uh, you get if maybe your area is um, close to a dump site, sewage, swampy areas, of course the pests will come, right? Mm -hmm. Compared to the posh places where there's like daily cleanliness, daily maintenance. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Hey. Okay. There's something interesting that someone had raised. Let me, let me just get it. Okay. Uh, I, I, I wanted to ask, to ask about. Someone said that, um, I'm just checking down from those things that were, 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 were noted as I was going through social media. Someone said that, a man's house, ukenda kwa nyumba manaume, aukosangizo vitu zote. And I'm like, it's true. Wanaume meonewa, amali ukweli, mtu ambie, which one? But, do you feel like that comment was justifiable? That, juu mtu wame sepati, oh, hizo vitu za patikaranga kwa nyumba za wanaume. Uh, not only Wanaume, even some ladies are so dirty, so it's in both ways, it's in both scenarios. But Sasa, I think men tend to be clumsy, so maybe sometimes when they are in a man, 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 they are in a man. Would you date a man that has those things in his house? No. I wouldn't, never. Aye. How are you even? Wanaume, I'm not going to die. If you are in a man, they are in a man, they are in a man. Hey, what? See, you'd help him clean. You, you tell him, you know, think, we put, you put his life together. I think before dating, you date someone you're compatible with, someone who's clean. So, akuna jamimi niende. I'm not her mother. I'm not his mother. So, akuna jamimi niende kwake ni mklinie na yeye akujikwangwa ni mklinie. So, you better all be clean. 
Okay, well, personally, I feel like you cannot teach a person about personal hygiene, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, we all grew up differently. Mm -hmm. So I think from a young age, from a young age, kila mtu alikuwa anafunzwa kwao, you're supposed to live like this, you're supposed to live like this, and we grow up knowing that that's the same way to live, Cindy. Mm -hmm. So when you meet with a person and you decide to date, no, you know, maybe aliambiwa, it's not a must to take a shower every day. It's okay to live with Mendez in your house. You cannot correct that person. <laughs> hey, Jamani. Hey. But, hey. what is what I mean? What I mean, Ajua? Your daddy, yes, sir. Because I could not school and go out. See, go buy. See, no buy and away. Like, when I come to your house, I just look at you. Nakanga, too. I, it's enough to tell me, thank you, don't get me something to eat. Mm -hmm. Don't even give me something. There is, I know someone. I know someone that, some, someone I don't want to mention. I don't want to really describe her. But I know someone that I cannot drink water in her house. Siwezi kunyo maji kwa kesi kwa baya. Sina ishu na yeye. Lakini, nikifikiria tuyo maji ilaza kui metolewa wapi. Nimeshiba, nimeshiba. Na nikikuja kwa kia la kunye liwe bebeda na maji yangu. If nimeamu kuja kwa kia kuspend, like nimekaa sana. Huko ni kwe place, siwezi enda ta sleep over. Because now, hey, na it doesn't make sense. Right, what what makes you, now, other than now, let's not even talk about the rodents, the parasites, the insects. What signs do you see in someone and you feel like this one, they are down hygienically? Uh, depending with... Both female and male. Okay. Depending, I think, with how you package yourself, your outward appearance also depends. Because if you walk and you are really unkempt, that only shows you kama umeshindwa kuji keep we monyewe clean, kumanisha adi kwako we monyewe, it's not okay. <laughs> okay, see, no, personally, I grew up in a village. So, you know, kitoka mashamba. Kila mtu menoza ni white because the water is not contaminated. So, I grew up knowing that mtu akiwa na menoza brown, ah, ah, this person... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brush me, no? You see? Mm -hmm. But uh, you come to understand that some, uh, some of those places work on a very salty water. And unajua like that's not a form of being unhygiene, right? Mm -hmm. But for me, I think it all comes down to how you package yourself. Mm -hmm. How often do you take a shower? How often do you brush your teeth? How often do you like change your hair for women? I had a friend in campus. Mm -hmm. The woman, the lady who was in the house, I'm a pigger look who, she looks nice, she smells nice, she ha everything about but her. But her house is terrible. <laughs> Go to her house. Mimi ni kwa nenda nga kama ni bebeba food. Like, I would literally, and now the good thing is that we were very close, so I would tell her, I wouldn't shy away from mm -hmm. telling her, ni suwezi kula kwako, izi viyombo si juli osha last clean. So ni kikuja na kuja na chipo zangu, ni bebeba na nazo zinge pa kiwa. So if, unless I get to her house, and now I decide to clean up the entire place, so that I am able to use things that I know, ni mefanya nini? Ni have cleaned. Ni me clean mimi mwenyewe. But now, there's this now, this category of people you meet out here, they look nice. Like now me look. Ukiniangalia uwezi sema I'm disorganized. But now kikuja kuangu. You find terrible results because so I'm, I'm thinking it doesn't just narrow down to how someone looks, right? Yeah. Appearance. Appearance. Because now, if you look at me right now, mm -hmm. I look okay. You look okay. You look fine. I can't say umayacha biombo kwa sink aujoosha one week. I can't say umayacha bed hauja spread. I can't say umayacha umetata everywhere like umayacha viatu umerusha everywhere, you know. Your clothes are welcoming us kwa mlango. I can't say that. But it might be that you might look at me and do you think that there are people who come off large? Yeah, there are. There are people who do that. But then, I, I, I've never really understood why because, you know, kama unajua mtu ni mchafu, utajua tu from her outward appearance. But then unapata kuna mwingine ni msafi sana. But ukijaribu tu kuenda kwa ke hivi, kwanza unakaribishwa na vyombo. Hapo nje kuna bin, haijawa emtiwa. So, you know, some things, they just piss you off, but, you know, it's life. I don't think they are camouflaging. I just mm -hmm. think sometimes we are lazy in some sectors, yeah? Mm -hmm. So unapata those people who grew up with house helps, wanajua tu kupiga luku, kutake care of themselves, but everything mm -hmm. else, uh-uh, they're not down for it, yeah? 
Mm. So unaweza pata mtu yenyewe yeye ni msafi anapenda usafi lakini hana nguvu. <laughs> but kama unapenda usafi lazima uko na nguvu. Juna no. zapata mwingine pia ni msafi but hajaoga hiyo asubuhi. Aliamka tu akapiga passport na kavaa na kajispray na ametoka. Okay mimi nasemaje ikifika mambo za hygiene ya nyumba then you have to know yourself are you capable of doing the housework? Are you capable of waking up in the morning taking a shower kosha vyombo kosha nyumba wache nyumba yako ifio poa? Ama you just like see I let me just like uh or be presentable I'll come back and do them in the evening. At one point we all do that. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I feel um, if you can be able to take care of yourself first, then it's easier for you to manage the rest of the things. Mm -hmm. Compared to lem tumenya namka, nyumba ni safi, nyumba is spotless, clean. But anasa how kuoga. She's talking about that and then I've just remembered some interesting conversation we were having just before we came on, 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 on set. Is this an like, interesting conversation I was having with Steph? And you know, do you do you look at someone and you're like, where you can't you can't maintain a house or you can't maintain a house from the way they look? Like, ukiangalia mtu wone hey umstana meka kama mimi sasa with this long nails, someone would look at me and be like, hey you 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 can't maintain a house. House. You think sometimes you'll notice, sometimes you wouldn't, depending with the small integrities that you notice. Do you know sometimes mtu? Outward appearance yake tu inakaa vizuri but the moment unamwambia atoe viatu aziweke kando abaki tu venya yako migu. <laughs> my god run away <laughs> so it depends uh, because she said i i, I the reason muliza swali ni venye amesema uh, the way she said that there are people who grew up with health mm -hmm. they know how to take care of me but i don't know how to take care of how? But it doesn't really matter because kama unajua maybe to take care of your house is a problem, washing is a problem. You can always hire someone to wash for you, do your house chores maybe a week. Izo zinju kama seme kwa shavya utensils asubui, hiyo si kazi ngumu. But then ukizi pile up, maybe unazitafuta mtu, akujia kusaidi yo washa ino. So it's okay that you can get someone to help you around. Yeah, if yeah, yeah. okay. To. Kwanza on what you had asked before, mm -hmm. I think kuna a lot of stereotyping outside here, mm -hmm. especially when, you know, a girl looks nice. People automatically assume, uyu hakuna kitu aneza fanya. This girl cannot wash utensils, she cannot clean, she cannot do blah, 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 blah. Sometimes it's true, but most of the times it's a lie. Yeah? So I think we should not be fast to judge. Um, by your outside appearance and about uh, employing somebody to do your house just for you totally okay totally okay for me mimi kwanza mimi nikifua mgongo nikiamka hapo why are you and i both why unapanga hapo na hey you like uh -uh. <laughs> my back is yeah 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 so somebody will automatically assume maybe i'm lazy maybe i'm dirty but no I'll wash my clothes, yes, but somebody else will do it for me. You know, same thing. Mm -hmm. The clothes are clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. what? what do you think? Yeah, it's still perfectly fine. Either you do it yourself or you t look for someone to do it for you, well and good. But Chang personal really? hygiene, it's important. So, how do you... Would you help a man improve his hygiene? Um, I wouldn't. I'd look for someone who's already clean enough. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> eh, you know, you're, you're not you're not rehab eh, for no, badly I, raised I'm man. I'm really I'm not I'm not because you know I'm trying to teach someone else other habits than yeah how you used to. Nezadi jikuta ni wote mna kosa na juu na mambi afanye he maybe him he's not used to do that you, you know yeah so there is no need to do that. Okay well personally I would help a man to improve his personal hygiene because sometimes unapata a person how you call um. He doesn't have the awareness that he's actually dirty, right? So when it comes to things like maybe brushing your teeth, maybe somebody, maybe a man, a regular man, are used to brushing in the morning. But mm -hmm. where maybe we a brush at least twice a day. So you just find a comfortable way of telling him, or maybe you start doing the routine together. Because when there's a part here where there's something you do, you think you are being clean, but actually you are not being clean. And instead of somebody dumping you of uh, it's a me problem, not you. See, here, we improve yourself. Mm -hmm. Not only for him, but also for the future. Right? Okay. Yeah. What? Wow. Hey. Mimi, mm -hmm. I would. I have. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I have. 
The things my face can make you do. Maybe it's the energy for you. No, I can't. Maybe they let me tell you. I used to. I'm not supposed to say this on air because my mother will come for my head. But because it has come, let me just share. I, I, there's this, there's this um, guy. Mm -hmm. I will probably, every time I will pass by his house, it's always unkempt, it's dirty, it's, he was just disorganized in nature. Personally, I am not the neatest of neatest wale wa OCD, but I love a few things organized. I can't stay in a disorganized space. So, unaingia kwake, unapatana sijui na nini, aliingia sitting room via socks. Even feel irritated. So, exactly, thank you. I feel irritated because I, I enter the kitchen and the first thing I meet is a pile of dishes, you know. And, and I realized that actually this guy has a problem with being organized. So I would come. I did it a few times. Maybe I would come clean up, help him clean up everywhere. Mm -hmm. Natoka, the entire place is sparkling clean. The next time I come, I find the situation I found before. So I started telling him, no, you know what? When you remove your clothes, put them in there, in the bin. Don't go through in them. Don't remove your clothes. From the door, remove your clothes. Ukifika bedroom. So ukifika toa. Rusha wapi? Rusha kwa, kwa, ba, kwa bucket. I, when you drink, when you drink something, like when you have a, a meal or something, rinse your cup, especially when it's tea. Mm -hmm. Just come to the sink, rinse it, put it back. You won't have a lot of piling. And I think with time, I'll cut up. So I'm thinking, it's not, it's what you can and can't do, but if you don't have the grace to, to help someone improve, don't force. Yeah. I, you know? I also think um, doing something for a man when I could be by a time. <laughs> exactly. I was waiting for that comment. You'll do so the I first, the one time you'll do it, the second time you'll do it, the third time you'll do it, then the fourth time they'll be like, ah, okay yeah i think the best the best way to go around that is the house is disorganized socks wapi wapi clean it with him acha pia yakwe involved in that process right aspate umefanya aspate umefanya ju ukifanya umeshazoea it's vacation for your boy acha ukifanya it's vacation for your boy Maybe it will ask me about it. Hey, we should be able to vacation the whole stream. We're just stuck in seven for how long? Okay, because what we're gonna put is a new kitchen. But where, apart from the dynamics of being clean and neat, it's just it's just different. Now let's take this discussion to the point here: the aged. Mm -hmm. You know, the aged, our grandparents. Yeah. Uh, how do we help uh, those people? I think sometimes you can hire a nanny or someone who to take care of them because we are so busy, mm -hmm. but hauna, you don't have the time to go attend to your parents. Some are maybe you in Bali. So you can either choose to opt to have someone to do it for them. Ama or later you wish in a while. You come on a job to job five. By five to all that period, you can get a job to a job to a job to a the stench we get from the, the smell we get from their houses. You know, when talk about it. their houses or their body or something. I don't know. You know, I think it's their body because sometimes when a part, maybe she's sick. Uh, maybe um on a part, kuna maybe some bodily discharge zenya na emit na hakuna maybe mtu waku change the sheets ama something else. So on a part, over and over na pia yeye unajua hana energy ya kujisaidia. So on a part, over and over inazidi ku accumulate ku accumulate. So in the long run, apata tu ni the whole house inanuka the same thing. Okay, I'll say um, you see for a baby, akona that smell. I think almost all the babies they smell almost the same depending na hygiene. But in Swaki Oshwa, Kuna Ville, Sindio, also you, also me, Kilamsa Nakwagana, that natural scent, mm. right? Mm. Uh, sometimes Napata Kuna Munya Kuna, the bad odor, not because they're not taking a shower, but because maybe they have poor dieting. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the old, apart from not them maybe taking a shower regularly, yeah. they are also aging. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of natural, because Nkama Tawa Shoshuote on Anuka, the same. Okay, no offense. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I wanted. We come on and kanga this. Siko baya. But the way they smell. Since you want to kanga uze. But I think I think I'll do it. I'm sorry. That I will try. I am a good father. I know. I 
under the spell. Mm. And that same spell, you will get it from another shoshu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but you see, no matter how you go and clean their house and clean and wash clothes, like, uh -huh. they'll, they'll still like emit that smell. And I think we should like embrace it. Maybe that's how old age is supposed to smell. Wow, Jesus. Hey, I'm going to smell here, Ivo. Guy, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. I, I look at this old um, women show shows or something, and I imagine that mm she was once a girl like you. And I can't see it. Mm -hmm. I can't see the girl. <laughs> I'm trying to see it, but for some reason it doesn't come. But anyway, speaking of bathing frequencies, how... How many times should someone take a bath for them to know that hey, you come safi? I think once a day is nice, but you can maybe adjust to twice. Yeah, but once a day, it's okay. Okay, well, personally, I think twice, mm -hmm. at least in the morning and in the evening after Mumbaiza Shungulezako, especially for ladies. Mm -hmm. I've met someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't ask me, Lily Julia, or Abby. It's a she, and of course, if you study in a boarding school, the our boarding schools, public ones, then you know, ganga ni yote kwa bafu moja mbesi. Mama po njia zi ni wate, so muna onana. There's this girl who will shower, amejipaka sabuni, amejimwagilia maji, pick sabuni again, shower again, jimwagilia maji, and then do it at that time. And I would be like, why? Why? And she was like, even your mtu awe kwa msafi. And I'm like, why are you being extreme though? Sisi wengine tunajipaka na tuivi hata ikuwe meshika ijashika. My best friend in high school, alikuwa na oga kianzi ya migu, akipanda juu. Kuyo na yeye hame zidi. Akipanda juu, and I used to feel like it's, it's insane, like it's madness. How can you anza migu kipanda, right? And nakuza kuona, it all comes down to ulifunzo kuoga aje. But it also depends. Jeneza funzi, jeneza funzi na nanzi ya uso. But then the moment unajimwagili vi maji, unafi, so, heri wanze na migu, ukipanda jimu mwini tako ime aja. No, unajua, I think ni the same way na, tukiosha viombo, kuna nyonanza na vikombe, sahani, sufuria, and then we have those ponyana. I was coming to viombo. Thank you for bringing it. Yeah, so I think ni vile, tukia wadogo, ulifunzo kuwa gaje. Alafu unajua, for those who grew up with house helps, unajua house help anakuwa shanisha tu. So, you grow up, kujio shanisha tu hivo. So, unapata, sometimes you take a shower, a really good shower, but still you are not clean. I don't know who taught me how to shower. Because I start with my hands, my entire body, then my face is the last thing I wash. And I'm like, who taught you to how to shower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who taught me how to shower? Because... Who starts with me, Kono? Who saw you the last thing? You know, I, I feel like when I mean, you to some also should be the first, the first thing. thing. Yeah. But anyway. But you are better off, my friend. I'll go and answer. Sasa, mm. I, I am those people, now that she's brought up the utensils bit, I was going there. Mm -hmm. And those people who will arrange dirty utensils. If I'm not planning to wash them, even if it's not even be, if even if I'm not planning to wash them, me I can't wash utensils because my chapa sink. Uh -huh. So I will pick the kombe, panga masani, toa uchafu kwa masani, panga them in one place. And then now my mother, my mother has a way of asking, especially if I have not washed the utensils, and then I have pangat them nicely. You would think they are washed. My mom, will, my mom sometimes gets into the kitchen and she asks me, "Uliosha biyomo amu me panga apo kama kitu mzuri?" They have like. <laughs> but is there a criteria for washing utensils? There is no criteria as long as all of them are clean. So what you can do is to feel like you are in a 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 feel I think when I was growing up, because Furia is taking most of the energy. Who told us that we should start the vikombe? Na vikombe. My mom used to say, "Unanza na vikombe, cause hazina mafuta." Okay. So vikombe, like unanza na the the at least clean. Uh, okay, dirty, dirty, dirty. Na kuna wenye usema ma unanza na Furia ju, watasugua sana it takes most of their efforts. So na pata unanza na hizo. Acha mimi yendo kitu ile zafanya ni unanza na Furia. Na Furia. Na skenga kusugua Furia, ume sugua, ume sugua. So sometimes na unacha kwanza ni sugua. Lafini kimaza, siya tinazi sugua ni zirins. Na sugua zote na naika parking. Na anza kuosha viyombo. So ni tazifanya nini, ni tazirins, ni kifanya nini, ni kimaliza viyombo zote. Ata unagi tunasemaga viyombo na Furia, it's like, the utensils, 
So for real, it's like they're not part of the utensils mm -hmm. in a way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know. I think either way, but as in area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How, 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 how many times should someone wash their kitchen? Oh. Um, depends on how many times you're using your kitchen. Right? Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Yeah, so if you don't cook every day, then you cannot stay. You're like, ah, hygiene, I need to wash this. But sometimes it kind of depends. You're not cooking every day, but then you're eating every day, and then those refuses you're leaving them maybe on the sink, on the mm -hmm. cabinet. So just regular cleanup is important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, speaking of regular cleanup, even for the house, for us to avoid some of these parasites, because mm -hmm. sometimes to make up and to to make up and to to how many times should someone thoroughly clean their house? There's that thoroughly cleaning mm -hmm. and there's just normal maintenance, you know? Mm -hmm. For thoroughly cleaning, I'll say twice a week. Maybe Wednesdays and weekends. But then... <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also <laughs> shocked. <laughs> but then it's just shut up our mop. Maybe every day. Magic is spill up up and goes Okay. Okay, I think... Um, we are really in our houses. So twice a week for me will be um, an it extreme. It also boils down to how many are you in that house. You know, But then if you are four or five... I'm a duty roster. Yeah. So I think cleaning at least once a week. Okay, at not at least, at most on... on such a deeds. Yeah. Wow. Hey, how do we get any idea of how we get rid of these two, two myamas? Mm. Pesticides, insecticides. Well, there's a time we try to spray cockroaches. You to talk about cockroaches. We try to spray those things. We tried Ilag Dawayaunga. We tried, I don't know, Villa Zilisha, but sometimes those pesticides. They can be hectic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. it's just finding the right one that works for you. For you. And, and also um, covering all the foods. Uh, remains of foods just anywhere. Because those, those insects, unazita parasites, they attract each other. Unapata after mepata mende, the next relative ni panya Yeah, the Yeah, then the next. Yeah. Yeah. The it's like they, they have a very good relationship. But I'm being told our time is up. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your coming. I don't know. I, I normally I will say tell us something as we wind up. But mm -hmm. now today we are talking about domestic sanity. I don't want to tell you to tell us something. So mm -hmm. I want you to give us a parting shot. Whichever, whatever you want to add, whatever you want to say. And then tell us where we can get you on social media. Okay. Uh, we start from? Okay, fine. I'll start. Okay, I would also just say I think domestic sanity is important because it also helps with your like mental health. Because if you are organized, um, use that camera. Oh, okay. Because if you're you are organized, also your mental health will be okay. Because you'll get most of the times you're thinking correctly. You don't have like messed up uh, thoughts. So yeah, it's important. Then on Instagram, I'm a moi. Thank you. Okay. Um, That's your camera. This is my camera. Mm. Okay. So when it comes to domestic sanity, I would say it's important for us to do things that are normal. Yeah. Um, we stick to the normal things, and yeah, you have to be insane while dealing with your day-to-day -day lives. Otherwise, your whole life will be like disorganized. So on social media, uh, Instagram, it's Queen underscore she, TikTok, Queen underscore she. Nice. Yes. Thank you so much for making time. I really appreciate your coming. It means a lot. At least to me learn a thing or two. You know? What do we call this? We say we'll pay a vacation. We'll pay a boy child vacation. Stop giving boy child vacation. I'll start doing something different. Thank you. That has been WCW Domestic Sanity. We have been talking about domestic sanity. Probably you're just out there. You're at home. You're thinking that, eh, I hope you've gotten a thing or two uh, about how to keep, to tidy up your place and how to just maintain order. But we are taking a very short break. We will be back with more. Of course, I'll be taking your feedback when we come back. But don't touch that style.